Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channel Star Paulo Azul and Super Academico and today I'm um, keep the reading of my book Phenomena. We already read the chapter 1 and 2, uh, is in the playlist that I put here of the, the reading of the book and if you are interested in the book also, uh, uh, beyond the, the, the reading, please uh, go to the, the, the link in the description that goes directly to the Amazon books where you can find the book. So let's go to the chapter 3. I'll put the cover here so you can feel it a little bit about the story. Chapter 3 Harvard University I had already been on that campus a hundred times since I was 12 years old. My father went to school and now was teaching economics there twice a week. He used to work in Providence, Rhode Island, as treasurer secretary, but lived in Boston. He was a kind of an expert in economics and uh, was always working on some projects for different states, companies, and he was lecturing at universities. I think his uh, strict personality matched his profession. My mother never went to college, but was involved in the events and events that took place on the on campus, such as parties, community fairs or cocktails accompanying my dad. As for Anne, my sister, since she got accepted there two years ago, I started to visit th that place. In the beginning I was just trying to give her a hard time by hitting on her friends. However, after I saw Donnie on TV, I started to go there due to another reason. The parapsychology department, one of the few in the country. It was weird for a 70-year-old boy uh, always to be regularly visiting such a scary and shady department at that university. Many of my friends thought I was a ghostbuster, nevertheless, Besides my sisters, I also had the full support of a friend called Ronald Freeman. Unfortunately for me, he got accepted at the University of Illinois, and we lost contact. In addition, in addition I also counted on the help of a student in the parapsychology program. Eddie Morris. He introduced me to, this, to some professors, students, and to a whole lot of specific literature, which I grasped entirely. I never experienced that with any other book I read before. He still had a couple more years to go before graduation, and I hope he'd continue to help me out. Later on, I walked into the business office. There were about 30 people waiting online in order to fill complaints, and I was grateful that I had none. I headed for the office of Special Registration where Mr. John Avakan was waiting for me to make the last arrangements before I got officially accepted into that college. I saw right in front of him. I sat, I sat right before him. Right in front of him. Tell me about your father, how's he doing? Very well, thanks. Good, let's see. I have got three letters of recommendation here in your resume besides your own letter. You have a very specific interest, don't you? Yes, Mr. Mavican. Parapsychology. That's it. Your father, uh, your father's letter is very assertive, of course. Those from the professors at the department practically demand your admission there. And the one written by your physics teacher, Mr. Dwight, is praiseful yet ambiguous. It brings up your distraction up to the age of 16 years old, as well as your over-dedication from the point 
on to the age of 18 years old which is something that gets backed up by your transcripts so if what you wrote on your letter is true that's what I want you to talk about now go right ahead I'm all ears of course sir I admit that up the age of 16 years old I didn't have any real interest in anything but after what I described in the letter happened, my interest in paranormal phenomena was notorious. From that moment on, I began to study that subject a lot and adjusted the requirements of Harvard. All right, Joseph, but before we make uh, everything official, you are to you are to agree with two conditions on your registration policy. First of all, regarding your scholarship. You get a full stipend. However, that means you have a five-year commitment with the university, university after you graduate so you can research in that field. I was counting on that, sir. Very good, then. Now, the other condition is that you go one semester of general studies in order to complete complement your complement your higher education but you get to pick a uh, pick which subjects you want to sign up for since we're going to admit you into a specific program it is our duty as an educational institution to furnish your new ways and ideas Furnish. That's okay, sir. That doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. I thank you for helping, for helping and trusting me. Great. Sign here now. I signed the paper, shook hands with him, and then left. I hadn't felt so well since the day of my graduation. I had just been accepted in the most important university in the country and I was going to major in, a, in what I wanted. I had gotten a lot of help from my dad, Annie, Eddie, the teachers the pro and professors and even from Mr. Mavakin. Now I was literally part of the higher education institution and not only physically. I went back into the business office and noticed it was still crowded. I left the building and I saw that beautiful August blue sky. I didn't know why but I felt an immense desire to thank my brother for that day. After all, if he had not appeared on the TV screen that day, I would never have gotten accepted to Harvard. Or perhaps even at any college at, at all. On that same day I decided to go to the veterans cemetery and visit with Donnie. And that was the third chapter of the book Phenomena. So thanks for listening, watching, watching, listening this reading of my book Phenomena and you are interested in other books written by me, please uh, subscribe to the channels and go to the Amazon and uh, the link in the link below in the description so you can find not only phenomena but also uh, the book Coders that's also in English and in other books uh, in Portuguese too you can find if <laughs> you can read in Portuguese so that's it for today I hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe like the video, share and comments. Till next time, bye bye.